Hi guys, we continue our videos about the Catalan Championship and this is the second game of the first round uh, after a draw with the white pieces I'm playing with the black and this time we went for the uh, Paulson or Khan as you wish uh, well, typical uh, first moves and A3 well, okay this move, uh, we cannot say that this is just a mistake, of course, this is a possible move and there are a lot of transpositions to another variations when finally a3 can be useful and white plays this move. However, making this move on such an early stage, of course, uh, delays white's quick development, fight for the center and uh, generally it cannot cause serious problem for black, of course. Uh, now black has the white choices. For example, uh, I played here knight f6, however it was possible also to play even b5. Anyway, or, or knight c6, transposing to the Taimanov, and their early ace a3 also cannot be recommended as um, principal continuation. But okay, well, knight f6 is not that bad. Bishop b3. Well, uh, in this position, of course, white can try also another moves like uh, f4. Uh, trying to provoke d6 and get the benefits from early a6 that doesn't let black to play bishop b4 anymore mm, or even immediately play g4 uh, disturbing the early knight f6 for example g4 um, yeah probably we need to play h6 and now f4 um, I'm not sure about this variation uh, hardly can be said that it gives something uh, something serious to white it's too strange it's too fresh there are no a lot of games about this maybe even no any games about this line but of course it was an alternative to somehow uh, again use the point that uh, bishop before hasn't been playing yet or even immediately oops sorry immediately f4 and now let's play bishop e3 and then queen f3 or queen d2 and castling uh, the long. However, once again, does white need a3 on the early stage? No, it's not the best move. Even we will play the passive, for example, knight c6, queen f3, bishop e7, castle, and just even just simple castle. It's very double-edged position because playing g4 is not so easy. There's knight takes d4, e5 moves, and then ideas, and then g4 pawn is hanging and uh, we want to somehow use the a3 move in the later stage and play before b5 maybe rook on b8 this is also quite interesting position to play with black i believe it's not uh, not worse but anyway okay my opponent decided to end for the bishop e3 and uh, okay i played b5 uh, i wanted to play b4 uh, after f4, intuitionally I decided that actually this is the way we have to uh, somehow punish play a white player and show the weakness of the a3 move, that it even doesn't stop bishop before pin, after b4. Uh, but after f4, suddenly I have calculated that if I play b4, he takes, bishop takes b4, and now there is an interesting move knight b5. From uh, first from first calculation, I wanted to play here queen c6, uh, protecting the rook, putting additional pressure over e4 pawn, and then trying to take on b5. But suddenly I realized that there is a queen d4, very nasty move that stabilizes the situation, and uh, my pieces start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Also, knight a7 is coming now. I don't want to give up the bishop, and white takes clear advantage here. Uh, then I saw that, okay, probably I need to uh, go for the exchange sacrifice. Pawn takes, rook takes, bishop b7, rook a1. And now, again, not immediate knight e4, even though it looks like strong, but there's a queen d4, attacking bishop, attacking knight, attacking on, on g7, so why doesn't let me to take on c3 the way I want with the knight, keeping the bishop alive. Uh, the bishop is hanging because of that. But, okay, it's possible to make a castle, 
and uh, we keep all the threats 90, 94, 95 in case of E5 we have absolutely enough compensation for the exchange but at this point of the um, pressure I didn't want to sacrifice exchange on move 9 or move 10 in the decisive game or possibly decisive game uh, in a mini match and I just didn't find enough strength uh, in me to go in this variation for this variation and I thought okay I'll play just d6 and let's play normal pulse and especially when a3 early is uh, done and seems like I should be okay but surprise now black is in a very bad situation and I only realized that when my opponent already played now quick g4 now I'll try to explain actually what is the point, what is the problem. I'm absolutely sure that on a computer level, probably Black's position is even lost. <laughs> Why it happened on the move nine? Now, normally this type of structures we get in a normal pulsing variation. For instance, let's go slightly back. I want to just explain this. Let's say White played simply Bishop d3. We played knight f6, f4, d6, queen e2 or queen f3, just as you wish. Um, let's say b5, g4. It's possible to go for a knight of d7 already, like prophylaxis. We are going with the knight to the c5, and then another knight goes to the d7. And we still keep this guy, this bishop c8, on his uh, principal square because. We need we need him to keep protecting e6 in case if white will start attacking f5 and uh, also if he will castle long trying to stop my b4 with a3 on the later stage we again need our bishop on c8 to play rook b8 and b4 so this is very flexible position right now for the bishop and we don't want to move him on the early stage to b7. Now let's go back to the game, what happens there. So after those moves, um, my, my bishop, okay, still is on c8, but his bishop also didn't go to the d3. And to be honest, d3 is very bad position for the white bishop. In a lot of situations, it cannot go to h3, increasing pressure over e6 especially after f5 that would just smash our position on e6 outpost so now he has this bishop on f1 he doesn't de he didn't develop that and it will cause a lot of problems probably black will not be able to just uh, support enough well square e6 and this little detail that bishop is still left on f5 on f1 it, it will go if it's necessary from another side is the final, uh, it's a decisive little detail, part of the puzzle that gives to white decisive advantage, huge advantage. So I only realize it now, and I thought, okay, if I go, let's say, simply bishop b7, my opponent continues just bishop g2. Yeah, right now he has to play bishop g2 because pony 4 is hanging, but I will remind you that we needed our bishop to the c8 square. Now e6 pawn is weak, and f5 will make direct pressure there. So anyway, we don't get much benefit from that right now, from the point that right now white bishop points to the g2. It's not a huge deal. So for instance, mm, for example, g6, this is a typical move to play, uh, to have possibility of knight h5 here. Let's say knight h5. But okay, white, uh, in, together with many other options, can immediately pressure this knight on h5. Knight g7, probably yeah, sad, bad, but this is this is what we have to do. H4, now direct attack. Uh, also, on every move, white has some alternatives, but I just put most simple and direct ways. Take, take, queen h5. Now e6 is hanging, f5, and it has a white has a terrible attack, probably winning attack. He can easily give up the exchange here, and knights are getting try uh, getting the decisive positions there, dominating, and um, I don't know. Probably we have to resign. It's lost. Okay, uh, let's go just back. Maybe we can go knight d7. 
but it doesn't change too much the situation again f5 and what is the very important point is that if we take here white simply castles and he destroys black's position because of just much better development f5 op f line open queen h5 is coming terrible uh, if i play e5 then knight e2 and uh, we are just worse because of the bad position because of the weakness of d5 and not a very nice control of that square if uh, taking on f5 then knight d5 so rook is hanging on a8 um, yeah we can show another variations too here but uh, in a few words it just explains how huge are our problems because of the weakness of the six square so okay i decided to do something special here i didn't want to go just a very simple way and played knight fd7 trying to bring the knight to the b6 or at least to be prepared against uh, g5 and if he plays f5 i want to immediately go with the knight on e5 still keeping bishop on c8 but okay it's also it's not a huge deal uh, bishop g2 is a little bit slow this is the game move i believe white can just continue like g5 Knight b6, if I play g6, still h4, h5 is very strong. So f5, e5, knight b3, and we have the same problems. Mm, okay, d5 square maybe in a normal situation is not a, not a, not a huge problem, but uh, if we will keep in mind also that we have a very bad development of the pieces, situation is becoming critical. Should be 7, queen d2, knight d7, knight a5, white keeps all the control of the position. So, okay, um, so knight, knight d7 and um, together with this uh, g5 also could be recommended just queen e2 and castle long. Queen e2 is slightly flexible, more flexible because of some motivations that can appear on the e-file. For example, knight b6 castle, knight d7 g5, white is preparing just f5 bishop h3 and nobody can save e6 square, even bishop on c8 is not enough. And if we go something like bishop b7, bishop a3, knight c5, okay, just rook e1. If you want to take on e4, you can take it, but uh, black king is stuck in the center, so black is lost now because of the unstoppable attack. So, yeah, I could be easily punished here for not accurate play in the opening. Uh, my opponent played bishop g2, a little bit slow. Now there's a knight b6 and very annoying knight c4. And here I was very close to equalize. Just knight c6 was needed here to do. Um, yeah, there is always doubts about this position where to put our knight on d7 or on c6. When we want to neutralize pressure on e6, it's good to place the knight on c6. Of course, uh, there's nothing after knight c6 e5 because it's even just bad we give check and play bishop b7 so this was the best move i don't say that we just immediately equalize but we are very close so uh, i played knight d7 and uh, king h1 well maybe not the most uh, effective move but good prophylaxis bishop b7 and queen e2 okay this is not a bad move possible move but i was very afraid of a typical idea that uh, every sicilian player must know especially in the Paulson line also nakamura in a similar structure has lost here a few years ago in a 25 or something like that moves very quickly f5 e5 and knight e6 it's a positional sacrifice and after moves pawn takes d5 it's very tough to to stabilize the situation here because mm, obviously castle short side is not possible whenever we go castle long side white starts to destroy here the pawn chain and uh, black king is in trouble and these strong pawns on d5 and d6 doesn't let black to relax and coordinate the pieces those pawns are just taking a lot of important squares in the black's position so this would be very nasty and annoying uh, okay my opponent did not see it he just 
as, as, as he told me, he didn't know about this idea. So queen e2. Okay, bishop e7, g5. And I was doubting here, should I play castle or first g6, trying to prepare also e5 ideas. Actually, it was better to castle here. Mm, I was looking like f5. Finally, he destroys my six square, unfortunately. So I have to take it. This is the best, best, best choice because I want to also create problem for his king as it, it will be open. So pawn takes and rook e1. And I was not sure about queen g4. I thought that there is a f6 threats and also he takes the control over d5 and it could be bad position positionally, strategically. But to be honest, after king h8, computer says that. Uh, Black has enough count play. It is not clear at all now because we always have to keep in mind that white king is open now. So I play g6 and here f5 should be done, obviously. And uh, black feels uncomfortable. Yeah, we create some troubles connected with the pressure over b2. But still, uh, in this situation when white pawns have gone so far, castling short it's scary. And uh, it's not so easy to consolidate the position here with black. So my opponent played b3, knight b6, and finally we are able to castle. Um, now I was considering still f5 as a main move. Take, take, and rook e8. It's best move because uh, taking like bishop b5 can be connected with a lot of troubles. There we are like pawn takes, pawn takes, and some kind of sacrifices like 96 I don't actually remember already but it was scary to take there so this is the best move and again it's playable absolutely playable uh, white plays here a4 and um, okay I thought before is a good move here because he needs to go away with the knight and again I have a time to decide what to do on my next step um, but uh, then I thought that uh, if b4 there is a knight a2 and I didn't want to protect my pawn with the a5 giving up the b5 square to the white pieces. Okay, then I thought, hmm, let's push the knight away and then play b4. So he will not be able to occupy b5 square anymore and I quickly played that. However, it was best move to take on a4, take and just knight c5. This is a typical Sicilian position. Uh, index is b85. It more often more or less appears from the Scheveningen structure and black could be happy now because uh, even though bishop b2 looks very scary but there is no real attack here and any moment e5 could be done. So what is the problem after e5? My opponent thought, actually he thought as I, I also thought the same, that uh, this knight must go back. But he had a very strong move now, e5, intermediate, and white again takes the initiative up to knight d5. Probably d4 pawn will be lost, and um, okay, I don't want to say that white is winning or something, but he controls the game. Rook e8, queen d3 and slightly unpleasant to play this position with black. There are a lot of possibilities of pressure here. Uh, first of all, on the long diagonal, of course. f6 should be done, but no any stability here. Bishop c8. Ah, we have a chances, but white is better. So now, my opponent has played knight f3, b4, knight d1, and I knew that uh, one of the best options is to play a5, to stop his a5, and also I was creating threat like bishop a6. So again winning a tempo and then let's see what to do. But I was already in a time trouble, really controlling badly time in this tournament. When you long time don't practice on a grandmaster level, it's always tough to come back and uh, it takes a lot of time to, to make a move. So I was afraid of this. Bishop a6, just the exchange sacrifice and a lot of potential of the attack. But computer says play f6 and it's fine, but for computer it's easy. And in the game I just didn't, uh, 
I was not sure that it's good for black, so I just took here to stabilize the structure of the pawns and get e5 squares, square. However, a5 now, and of course my knight will now lose a lot of time to come back into the game. Really unpleasant. Uh, queen d2. However, it was stronger to play knight f2 here. Knight goes to the g4. I thought that it's fine because I can play knight e5. And now I can even play f6, so for now I have an extra pawn. But uh, in a time trouble I didn't see that white can simply play something like that. And even rook takes a 4 with very strong attack on the king side. Okay, my opponent also was coming to me close with the time control. So he went for quick queen d2. Knight must go into the active position. Um, knight c6. Yeah, okay, I, I was calculating queen takes c2, but with uh, 7 minutes or 8 minutes uh, at the clock, uh, it's no, there is no time to do that stuff. If suddenly I will find after some thinking that queen c2 is not working, and I will waste 5 more minutes, I'm just lost because of the time travel. So I just went for knight c6, knight e3, knight e5, knight e4, and rook e8. Now position is more or less equal, dynamically equal, as I have very strong outpost here. This knight guarantees me from any serious attack. Uh, get me done, queen c5 on the later stage, bishop d8 with some ideas over pawn a5 too. And I decided to offer here draw, I just didn't want to um, decide the final result of the match exactly with this position with 7 minutes on my clock and about 14 minutes for my opponent and uh, my opponent agreed so <laughs> very nervous game 1-1 uh, and we are going to play Rapids we will see it uh, on the in the next video thank you for watching see you next time